we notice that loss of bone density, we notice there's a higher risk of, of fracture. osteoporosis and fracture. Talk to us about how common that is when dealing with menopause. So we will start to see bone loss um, in women after the age of 50. Wow. And um, this is a picture of uh, uh, bone loss in the femur. And um, one thing that we must remember is that uh, there are risk factors that uh, put you at a higher risk for osteoporosis, things like age, gender, race, genetics, also lifestyle choices, diet, exercise, um, uh, uh, whether you smoke or drink, um, also if you're diabetic or hypothyroid, those are all risk factors. And another thing that I think women need to make, uh, be aware of is that if you are, women aged 65 to 69 who have a hip fracture mm -hmm. are five times more likely to die that year. Wow. So it's definitely a problem. Dr. Starkey, using the, uh, the image here, can you demonstrate or show us where the deterioration is happening and where is the breakdown of the femur uh, in, in this particular patient's photo? So the most common area for fracture in the femur is in the femur neck, which is right here. And um, so that is something that is typically looked at when a woman has um, a bone density study done. Uh, to evaluate their, their so bones. So it's in that, can, can you show us where in, in, in the other areas of the bone will can likely see a fracture as well? I mean, you can see fracture, you know, throughout the bone, um, okay. you know, it's, uh, but, but the neck is the most common area.